Well, thanks for taking a quick look at our uh, patient attitudes uh, report, which is just published, uh, and uh, there's uh, uh, over a hundred references that we've drawn uh, research down from and uh, explored and put together, and uh, uh, it's over a hundred pages long, lots of graphs and so on. And I'm just going to explain a little bit about its content and what it's for. Well, all across uh, Europe government systems of healthcare are offering patients more choice and patients are more knowledgeable so there's greater opportunity for market devi marketing devices in um, the medical sector and uh, companies are getting closer to patients and making more market communications towards patients so it's important to understand what motivates them what their attitudes are and Yes, we can go out and uh, commission original market research, but that's very expensive. And there is a plethora of uh, information available and market research already done and patient attitude surveys, satisfaction surveys across Europe. And uh, we felt it was useful to bring together into one document a report which covered all these aspects. And so this report, which has been researched over recent months, uh, brings together all these different references and there are um, about uh, eight sections through the, the report. Uh, after the introduction we look at attitudes towards uh, healthcare in context. I mean what's the social economic context of healthcare? How important is it in political decisions? What's the attitudes towards national health policy? Um, what are general issues about pain and, and health generally? What about lifestyles and the willingness to change lifestyles? And uh, what about spiritual uh, beliefs are, and how do they affect people's attitude to healthcare? So that's sort of the healthcare in context, the first chapter of uh, research findings. The second is attitudes towards uh, research and medical technology, the acceptance of uh, technology generally, and uh, the attitudes to risk is an important uh, uh, subject really and uh, so we look at uh, whether these attitudes are irrational um, attitudes toward clinical trials and and the perceived risk of medical devices so that's the sort of second chapter of uh, information then the big chapter looks at uh, increasing patient knowledge and health aspirations and there are two parts firstly the knowledge and sources of information trustworthiness of that information and demand for health information and the impact of increased uh, knowledge and then changing attitudes in a more general sense about choice that we've mentioned the expectation attitudes towards pain confidence in medical professionals hospital satisfactions and uh, the subject of patient rights and charters uh, then the big third uh, chapter looks at um, attitudes to the economics of healthcare provision um, investment in healthcare, what are the attitudes and perceptions of political reforms to date, attitudes towards reimbursement and funding and uh, access to new technology. Uh, the next chapter looks at uh, accessibility and rationing, a sort of taboo subject uh, which is avoided, uh, waiting lists, hospital access, satisfaction with cross-border care, uh, doctors involvement and all of these uh, studies uh, are drawn from uh, national studies in the various countries France, Germany, Italy, Spain, uh, UK and uh, some other countries uh, across the whole of Europe, Poland and so on and then we look at uh, communication tools um, and how those communication tools apply to medical device marketing in the context of changing patient attitudes um, then there's a review of uh, company patient activity and campaigns looking at US where there's much more obviously because of the nature of the market the parallels in Europe with uh, websites, PR campaigns and uh, what are the consumer attitudes towards health advertising for uh, and what's, what's the opportunity for medical devices and then finally we draw together the strategic implications for marketing communication teams for direct-to-patient uh, market campaigns and comparisons with pharmaceutical companies um, and the opportunities for medical device companies in Europe. This is a compilation of over 100 pages of 
thickly filled uh, patient attitude and satisfaction information and behavior so uh, it's a great resource and uh, we would commend it to you to take a look at and consider the contents um, and uh, access this report one advantage of the report is that you do get a personal presentation uh, for us to dialogue about the opportunities that you have in the future to develop your more uh, directed patient marketing uh, for medical devices in Europe and the different countries. Thanks for listening. Hope you have a l another look at the, the contents, uh, the downloadable the PDF, and don't hesitate to give me a call on the phone. Thanks then. Bye for now.